Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so uh, how are your thoughts about the tribute that uh, Doc Rivers actually gave Derek after the game on the last game? I thought I thought it was absolutely fantastic for, for Doc, and I've played with Doc, and also been around Doc for so many years of, of being a pro, that it was a wonderful tribute to being able to do that for Dirk right in the middle of the game and nobody knew about it, which made it extra special also too. And of course, when a guy like Dirk plays for so many years and is such an iconic figure in the, in the way that he's changed the game, it's, uh, it, was, it was extra special. It made, it, made, it made my heart feel full, for sure. And then we talked about this a little bit earlier um, before the season, but obviously I haven't seen you in a while, but um, Zion's situation with the... Um, with his sneakers being blown out, and then obviously, like, since you, you were a college athlete, um, what are your thoughts as far as, you know, them being paid now? I mean, did, I mean, is it, in your opinion, is it time for them to bite the bullet and actually pay I think, athletes? I think, yeah, I think, I, think what it, I think what it is right now is that there has to be some kind of a medium being struck between the uh, NCAA and, and the college athletes as far as, as far as the pay scale is concerned, because they're incrementally growing, exponentially growing, and all of a sudden now you're trying to put guards on top of the players that are there. Coaches can make as much as they want to make. Um, players have to stay stay in the school. If they leave, they lose eligibility. It's all against the actual people who are playing. You utilize them for dollars. You utilize them for advertising. You give them everything. Everything, uh, and what you call everything, mm -hmm. is a scholarship, right. which is not enough. It's time for the equal parity to be able to move forward and have an opportunity for the player for the players. And what I'm talking about is not payment. Right. I'm talking about to get I'm talking about to get a small amount of dollars because you can't just play the Zions. Right. You have to pay the you have to pay the softball team also. So I think a great stipend and an opportunity for players and, and people to be able to go home. The university can pick that up to go back. And a small stipend, I think something like that works out very, very well. But without it, you can't just have the NCAA just taking all the the, the revenue and then putting so many restrictions on the players that are there. And then um, I guess what's been up with you? Like, what, what are you guys got going on as far as the community? You know, things of that nature. Like, what's, what's next for you guys as far as that goes? Well, I mean, for us, for us, we're always as far as Mavs are concerned, yeah. as far as the law is concerned, we're always working inside of the community simply because that's exactly what we want to do to be able to get them to know and understand the Mavs, but also help people in different venues, education housing, having the opportunity for people to understand a great deal about what moves people forward. And especially when you talk about uh, kids and people, especially living here in Dallas, Mavs have always been inside the uh, community.